you guys and welcome back to my channel and today I've got a really awesome thing here going on and oh my gosh I think I can just like scream or something oh my god it's um my friend um, a good friend went over to Japan and to this legendary store called Itoya which I think for stationary fanatics out there um, this is like a stationary building so it's not just a shop but apparently there's like stories and stories and stories of stationery and I got myself well I was going to buy it for myself but then my friend kindly and very graciously gifted this to me instead um, but this is an A5 plotter and the reason for that is because this is my current bullet journal my A5 bullet journal hi Anya um, and as you can see, it's quite thick and it's like 120 GSM. So it's a little bit heavy. Actually, let's see if I, we can weigh it. So this is a scale. I'm gonna turn it on. It's like half a kilogram. It's like one pound, 1.13 pound. I think it's a bit too much, right? For a planner that I'm carrying around in my backpack every day. Um, so I wanted to downsize. And I thought one way to downsize is actually to use like a binder ring system because that way I can literally just file away all the spreads and all the stuff that I don't need. And then I can actually just also add more paper as needed, can keep some stuff in the office. Uh, but yeah, so this, I've actually been carrying it from home into the office because I I kind of toyed a little bit with planners this year. So at first I started um, using both this as a personal planner and then I have a separate work planner. And then I realized that doesn't work because my mind doesn't just like very easily compartmentalize like, oh, I am doing work today and therefore I'm not going to think about like personal stuff or like, but sometimes I'm also at work and then I'm doing like personal errands, for example, if I'm... Um, making a travel visa or if I'm like extending my passport like these are things that also happen during working hours so I ended up just scrapping the whole idea of having like two separate planners um, and I just decided that I would do one instead but then this got a little bit too heavy to carry around all the time um, in the previous job it was fine because like I used to only go to the office like maybe two days a week but now I'm going in every day so I really feel the weight of this on my back every day in my backpack so i also toyed a little bit with using um this is my bible size plotter which you may have seen in uh, another video but it's just too small i don't know i think just this space is like too tiny for me to work on especially when this is the kind of stuff that i generally log so um if I'm trying to convert this whole page and this page is usually like filled and filled I'm losing like quite a significant amount of real estate or paper estate so I've decided that I actually need to use an A5 size plotter so that I can fit all of these in and I don't know how that's gonna work out I think by the end of the video both you and I will figure out how it's gonna work out but at the moment I think I'm gonna have to defer to a plotter but yeah I mean I don't know we could end up like setting the whole thing up and then if I weigh it it's like also like um, one pound then I I don't know what to do beyond that point um, especially because I've already worked so hard to get the plotter over to Hong Kong so this plotter in a very nicely packaged paper which gotta admit I actually already opened and I repackaged it um, because my friend was here when he gifted me this and if I had opened this in front of him I would have not have talked to him for the rest of the night because I just want to play with my plotter but now we shall see oh my god moment of truth Victoria I can't believe this is gift wrapped as well so um I probably will keep this wrapping paper might just scrapbook with it um you know do a little actually I can do it now this has been my makeshift like memory keeping journal and what I do is every time I get like a sticker or something I just randomly stick it in. Oh this is also my media journal which I think I'm gonna work on right after this video. So this um, my media journal and then this is my it's a boarding pass because I'm like traveling to previous memories that 
is like the Spy Family Uniqlo t-shirts. Anyway, I am totally digressing. Every time I get like something new, like a sticker or something, I just stick it in there. Oh no. I think I need to use both hands. The unnecessary things we do for... Oh no. All right. I think just that is making it over. I don't know if the rest of this can survive. <sighs> well, I'm just gonna put it over here. There, and then I just put it down and then when I have the time, I'll like illustrate it and decorate and journal in it the next time. So yeah, this is my cute little memory keeping journal for 2023 but yes back to this oh, oh. it's actually such an elaborate packaging but oh. this oh. Oh. Um. this is my new plotter Okay, wait, actually, this is all my new powder. I need to actually open it up. Whew. And similar to the fifth anniversary one that we were unboxing right up here. Um, actually, no, I already linked to that before. Um, we've got some, like, genuine leather product notes. And I'll show which one I got in a bit. Although, I think I mentioned it on, like, a Twitch stationery stream one I got but I'm really excited anyway because look at this color it's so beautiful and I actually wanted to get a mesh case to go with it but they were out of mesh cases and so I need to figure out like a mail forwarding services um, to bring those over but yeah so plotter is not really sold outside of Japan at least in Asia um, I think maybe in Taiwan or maybe in like partner retailers but not in Hong Kong not sold here at all and then there's also like the USA website which does not ship to Hong Kong because they only ship within North America. So, oh, look at look at this beautiful! Oh my goodness! And that 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 right there is my name. It's my name. Look at this beautiful leather, and I'm guessing this is like texture because leather has like imperfections and all that. And oh my goodness. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, there's actually warranty or oh, the bracket warranty. So I have a warranty for, oh wow, I have a warranty for the brace itself, but not the leather. Well, yeah, that makes sense. Warranty is valid for use within Japan only, huh? My friend did say that. Oh, there's like a chart on how much paper can be used. Wow, wow. Yeah, oh uh, wow, this is really beautiful. I'm sorry, I might like at a loss for words because this is so pretty. Um, and then, okay, I'm just gonna put this down because we are going to be migrating this here in just a second. But in the meantime, I've also got some inserts. So, my friend is way too generous. Like, yo, why are stationary people like so excessively kind? Okay, this is for the Bible size. So I'm actually going to use it for this and I'm just gonna like install it in a bit. This is for that project management, weekly schedule. Okay, I got two of these because I wanted a dot grid, but they didn't have a dot grid. So I'm gonna settle for an actual grid and pen holder and band lifter. So. We're gonna be setting all of these up. One of the reasons that I was super drawn to this ring binder system is that I'm currently like reading through, I just finished reading this book called Building a Second Brain. And just like the way that it works is very similar to um, a plotter because I think you're supposed to just like shuffle things around and work on like project per project instead of just purely like notebook chronological from start to finish. So that's part of the reason why I decided that I would get this plotter and I know that I've actually really just purchased like an excessive amount of planners this year because I was just really trying to figure out what works for me one of my stuff that I don't want to compromise is I just don't want to compromise using a system that doesn't work for me so for example that bullet journal works great 
but I just can't um, work with it anymore because it's like too heavy and I think about it and it's like adding like burden especially when I use it daily um, so one of these personal finance advices that I've heard is from this guy called Ramit Sethi and he's basically saying like you should just find an area that you are happy with that you're like joyous with so it's like a hobby so it's like maybe it's a camera gear uh, maybe it's jewelry maybe it's clothes and then you just spend all your money that you want on it but then you cut down on everything else so what I'm doing for example is I don't go out for drinks or alcohol a lot um, I bring my lunch to work every day so I don't have to pay for that lunch bill every single day um, I also don't really buy clothes so I think that's my compromise and I guess it's because he's um, also saying that some of these purchases do bring joy to people and he doesn't want to make you like have savings but then be miserable about it yeah okay so I can finally get rid of these flaps because I was using this to protect that ring binder before but yeah um, anyway back to building a second brain I am actually really excited about trying to see if like that works for plotter I don't know if it will. How does this work? Oh, it goes to the back, so I didn't even have to like take it out. Oh my goodness. Well, that's kind of silly, isn't it? I guess. That's what I get for not reading. Okay, I already misplaced this. Age chart. Oh, because it's got personal data. It's like, I don't need to know my age. I know my age. Actually, how does it work? To insert it through the back? No, you actually insert it in the middle. Oh my goodness. Oh. I have to insert it while it's closed. Okay. That makes sense. Do I put the other side? No. Okay, cool gonna do that gonna hopefully get everything in in one go that's nice all right now we can work with our a5 I really do hope that this planner system works for me because I I mean the bullet journal worked for me for the last like two years um, well, at least since I started bullet journaling. So I'm hoping that because I'm just kind of like changing the, um, the, the format of the notebook, like I'm not actually changing what I'm bullet journaling with, that this actually works. And yeah, back to maybe chatting about building a second brain, I guess. Um, I really, I really find it interesting because I actually already do kind of like use, um, Notion and Rome as like my second brain but I do like tend to use a I, I do feel like so okay let me rephrase this correctly so building a second brain they basically have like four steps and first is like capture is where you capture all your notes and that includes like capturing stuff in like a commonplace book which is like a notepad or digital notepad like I personally use like Google Keep to capture every single thought that I have throughout the day and then the still is when you kind of want to like summarize a note into just like the key takeaway. So you have like meeting minutes, for example, but then you have like the executive summary. And so that's called the still. And then organize is how you kind of like basically organize your files. Like, for example, if you're working on a project on marketing, then all of that falls under there. If you're working on a project on sales then all of it falls under there. And then lastly, um, it's expressed so you can like connect those all those disparate ideas together and you can create something. Um, so I feel like I'm really good at capturing and organizing my notes. So everything that I have is extremely organized, but I'm not really good at like tying two or three different ideas together. Or I'm not great at creating connections. So I'm experimenting with using paper to see that, um, sorry, to see if using paper would help me because like everything is technically one page whereas in digital you can't really put things side by side like you have to open like separate windows but here i can just yank out the papers and arrange them so maybe we'll see we'll see um i don't know what to do with project management this one is really cool actually it's kind of like an envelope actually i'll just show you guys and i don't know what i'm gonna do with my project manager 
I'll probably figure it out as I go, like depending on my different work projects. But I would rather like to be able to organize everything like um, and just write it down and be like, yes, I did like a bunch of series for education instead of just having to go through my digital files. Um, but yeah, so how you use it. Oh, that's pretty cool. They have a how to is that's in Japanese. But you can just put stuff here and then here you can put a tracker and then um, you got a project, you got a note and then at the back you got like basically like a goal tracker and this has like 0, 50 to 100. It's pretty cool stuff. I feel like the designers of, um, of this planning system, they've like really thought it through. So I'm actually really excited to use um, them and to see how I can fit it into my work life. I mean, at the end of the day, right, I feel like I'm really obsessed with these like planner things and I shouldn't be because at the end of the day, these are just tools and what's important is what I do with the tools. So currently, I feel like I've hit a limit on, um, on the creativity that I can draw from for my current planning and organizing system. So I want to see if like a new tool can help because sometimes you just need like a little something for and something different for you to shape your thinking a little bit differently. So I'm just going to see if using a new tool would just like shape my thinking in a way or like benefit me somehow. But we'll see. As is with everything, we will see. All right. So, okay, let's figure out my spreads. All right. So in the beginning of the month, I have a spread and this is just like all the people that I'm socializing with and then these are just like if I went to the gym that day I mark it as gym if I take alcohol I mark it there this is my monthly spread this is why I'm really convinced that I can just like substitute this with I don't even know maybe just like the 2mm notepad but anyways there's that and then right as I flip it over I have a shopping tracker so this is where I put plotter down thinking I would spend money on it shopping tracker new discoveries this is currently when I'm recording it's February the 8th so we haven't really gone far into the um, month yet. I did watch the movie Wakanda Forever because it was on Disney+. Plus. Listened to the album Smith, Sam Smith, Gloria. So I wanted to write that down. Usually I do put in like whatever new stuff I have here. And then here is my like wish list that I put at the bottom. And then right after that, we're gonna go into the weekly spreads, which I know this is a bit far behind, but it's because like my previous ones, they've already started to get filled. I can quickly just show, um, so this is where I list my groceries, sorry I haven't labeled them yet. This is where I list my meals and this is where I list the price. So the reason for me tracking meals is because this is literally the most frequent purchase or repeated purchase. Like I would purchase breakfast, lunch and dinner or I would eat three times or drink three times and have coffee in between and stuff. So I wanted to make sure that my costs are under control here because I feel like it's really easy to like, oh, I'm gonna save out on Monday and then on Sunday you just spend all your money. So this is, oh, and then you realize like Monday to Friday actually you spent a lot, but it's just like little, little purchases. So I always want to be mindful. And also another thing is my memories are somehow really strongly tied to food. Like if I remember what food we had the other day, I can kind of maybe remember the conversation on what I'm doing. So that's really interesting that I just want to keep and also because I love like eating stuff that I cook so I, I can see like what groceries have been used and like which dishes something like that and then here is where I put all my social stuff so there's not a lot of space because there's not a lot of people you get socialize with so these are all my social occasions these are my main tasks so these are like outstanding tasks for the day and I try to keep them small because if there's just too many tasks, then, you know, it's going to get spilled over anyway. Especially because on a work day, I'm really doing my best. Like, I'm not going to overtime. And I think that sets a precedence when you're not, like, trying to finish everything in one day and then you have nothing to do in, on a Tuesday. Like, you want to make yourself sustainable. So you have to do it at a pace that works. So this is my main task. And then this is where I put my Alice there method. So these are stuff that I do every day and then I just cross them off. So, for example, email. That this is today, so this is the 8th, 8th is a Wednesday, so I did it on Monday, I did it on Tuesday, and then I'm gonna do it again on Wednesday, and then I go through the rest of the week. So that is my Alistair method. I don't know if I can recreate it with my, um, I guess the equivalent for the plotter is the weekly spreads. So we're gonna see 
if it's possible to do it. Okay, one week for spread. Annual goal. Actually, I'll keep this. Kind of like it. Annual mission. I'll keep this as well because I think it has to do with my New Year's resolutions. And then I can start from... I want to start in February. Oh, this is February 1st, so I'm going to start here. Oh, and I think the great thing about Plotter is they do... They come with like really faint grid lines. So I can kind of use it similarly to a... I'm guessing like a um, dot grid. And then I just have to draw pencil lines. So this is my weekly spread. And then at the back, there's always these like little note stuff I realized that come with Plotter. So, I'm just gonna add that in. And this goes until, goes until March 2024. All right, so I don't need to buy more weekly planners for a while. No, the weekly spreads are done. And then I wanna add these two millimeter grid paper. That's actually really cool that they provide an example. Oh, and this is to put the date. So the thing about this plotter is that you can basically write it and then you file it in the thing. But I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. But let me not do a cover and let me just transfer this page here. I wanted to get the five millimeter dots, but I wasn't able to um, just because they didn't have stock in the off. Like it's an online shop exclusive. Plotter is so thin, right? the paper, I can just trace it. Okay, I'm gonna rip one out. There you go, I can actually trace it. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna close this first. So you guys are watching me trying to figure this out in real time. Oh, it's a little bit bigger as well. I need to clip this down, otherwise the paper is gonna move. I'm just gonna be brave and go in with a pencil. Uh, not pencil, I mean a pen. I'm gonna use actually the same dimensions, the Unipen 0.8. Whew, I don't know why I'm so nervous. I think it's because I'm doing it on camera. The great thing about this being like a loose leaf is that if I do like muck it up, then I can just very easily replace it. All right, let me write on the dates as well. I know this is where like people can say like maybe a monthly calendar can help, but I don't like seeing it on two spreads. I like my monthly on one spread. I know it's really particular, but I just like, that's just the way I like it. I gotta say, I'm not a fan of these two millimeter dot grids very much. Like I really miss the five millimeter dot grid, but I don't know. I think I just need to get used to it. And maybe because like I'm recording and so the slide is like very bright, but maybe I like it when I like finally zoom out and it looks like I'm not using any grids at all. Cause like here, like the dot grid is so visible. So it's like kind of obvious that I'm using guidelines. It's great actually, February, eight days into February and I already have like a new planner system. I don't know if I can put watercolor on this. Actually, let me try. So I've somehow decided that the color of the month is purple. So um, I usually highlight the weekends. I think just to like differentiate the weekday to the weekend. And also just to like add some distance in between weeks. So I'm using a Tombow Food and Nosuke dual brush pen from this set. It's a muted palette. It's, I think, the only color palette I had left. I know I like, in the beginning of my journaling and planning phase, I like bought a lot of pens and a lot of them from secondhand as well. And then I realized I only used the ones from the muted palette, I think because I just like really like it. So I sold off everything else. I have like the black and white palette because I'm using it for a drawings course and it was listed as the material, but because the others weren't listed as the material, like the other colors and stuff, I just decided to go away with it because you know, we're, we're getting rid of stuff to make room for new stuff. Whoa, this is how you know the paper is like really good quality. Like it goes, but it doesn't go that much. And yet this paper is like, it's like really thin. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in front of all right, and because our plotter is so thin that we can effectively trace, we're just gonna keep tracing. All right, wait, then I can't put it in yet. I need to trace the other backside. 
duh. And I guess for the following plotters, I can literally just trace on top of another plotter. And I don't have to deal with this um, alignment mess. I already mucked it up there a little bit. I just got this, this mugwort from like someone I met yesterday. He was, it's a really cute story actually. Um, he saw me painting a while back and then he was traveling out of Hong Kong so we couldn't really meet but then he got back in Hong Kong like recently so he like reached out and he's a watercolor artist and I think that's why he was like oh my god there's another painter in the world that kind of thing so we were talking yesterday about like how to get clean washes and stuff very very nerdy nerdy talk I know um He's like a really experienced watercolor artist as well, whereas I'm just like starting out. Um, and I was telling him like, oh, and we were talking about like how to get, sorry, we were talking about how to get like clean washes and all that. And he keeps saying like, oh, you know, you need to like leave a painting before you, like, cause otherwise you'd be overthinking. And then you, before you realize you just like, you'd muck it up and you just muck over this a little bit too much and blah, blah, blah. And I just, I've never heard people use the word muck before. <laughs> And I just thought it was a really cute word because it's like a, such an innocent version of the four letter word that a lot of us, or I actually say a little bit too liberally. So I just want to take that other, that word instead, muck. Because it's like making colors muddy and stuff. And it's not really a swear word, but at the same time, it sounds similar enough. So I'm going to leave it at that. Also, my brush pen is like running out because you can see the lines are kind of scratchy. But I kind of like the look that way as well, so I'm not even gonna... I don't mind until it like really runs out. Oh, and also with this uni pen, you have to use it upright. Like, you can use it to the side, but the best result is if you use it upright. Which is really weird. I don't know if it's because like, I also have this pen for a while now. Is this off? I could potentially move it a little bit to that side. I, I should have aligned it better. But anyway, first first month, you know, there's got to be some like trial and error in like layouts. Oh, I want to share something exciting. So for my current job, so I now work in marketing. And previously I was a reporter and I dealt like exclusively with text. But now that I'm in marketing, I I'm able to do like graphics and do stuff in like Photoshop for the very first time. So this is actually my first time I've ever been able to use Photoshop like professionally. And I'm really happy about it. Like I get to work a little bit with design and, and like alternate between like words and also design. I think I'm, that's like a good happy place for me. I mean, I don't know, this is a new job. So therefore this could be my honeymoon period. But I think it's a good, it's a good balance for me to switch between the two. So I'm not like too bogged down in one and I get to exercise my creativity and like two different ways. Um, not that I'm great at Photoshop, but I'm not a complete beginner, I would like to think. And then I'm gonna use my fountain pen. This is becoming like an extremely long video. So if you're still here, um, thanks so much for sticking around. And I'm guessing if you're here, you're also like a planner nerd. So I would love to know what hasn't worked for you in 2023? Because now I can say, I can justifiably say my Potter Bible did not work for me in 2023. My Traveler's Notebook dated inserts did not work for me in 2023. And therefore I've switched the use of Travel Notebook to be more of a journaling. And that's thanks to all of everything that I did in December daily, because then I, it actually gave me the room to figure that out that I actually really like memory keeping in that way. I'm gonna flip to the back and I'm gonna start actually my monthly tracker of like the stuff that I've done at work because I just realized like my work comprises of a lot of like little 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 tasks and I just want to be able to remember all of it um let's try this top one then for weekly let's see if I can match what I did what I'm gonna do here okay let's see the layout is I think the price can be here at the very end at the zero. This is how amazing it is. All the zero is like perfectly aligned with the line and you just know that a lot of thought goes on the, um, the creation of these papers. 
I know these are meant to be like marks of the hour so like you're supposed to be able to plan your day like according to the hour but I I just don't operate that way um, I have a calendar for that and I just prefer to use like calendar because appointments change all the time okay and then here I need my main tasks how do I transfer this here? I think the trouble is there's a lot of these lines where I don't want them to be. If I just write email, I think it's hard. I think at least I need like a guiding line. A Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Maybe if I take like, like every two dots. Is that too small? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then it goes down to one, two, three, four, five. I think it can work out. It's forcing my writing to be a lot smaller because these lines are two millimeters and these are five. So even if I fill in two boxes, it's four. Um, it's four millimeters and these are, so I get a lot more writing space here. But yeah, so I'm gonna try and see if this works. Oh, I can actually already start crossing out now because I've done email for three days. I did a LinkedIn post, I believe, yesterday. I don't believe I did one today. So what I do is I just cross it out. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do Actually, I'm gonna put it a bit lower because I have a, a daily call that I've done. Um, I can write down what I did today as well, just see how it really works out because I think it gives you like a better picture. Starbucks today, I've had McDonald's for lunch, I paid the deposit for someone's dinner, so I'm counting it as in my food budget. And then I had, I've been having this soup rice and it's so good. So that's what I have. I think it worked quite well. And I guess that's it. And then everything else is just like notes that I'm just going to keep on the back of. I like to keep my notes um, monthly. So I do s still somewhat like a chronological thing chronological flow to my notes. So I'm gonna put my notes here and then flip it over once the new month starts. And I think that's gonna be like the layout of my new plotter. But this is great. I don't have to ever make weekly spreads ever again. I just need to make that one monthly spread. Then, um, maybe I'll put a lifter here. So this video, as like when I'm recording, it's running for over an hour. Well, it's 54 minutes. So when you see it, hopefully I've cut it down to maybe like 20 and I've sped up some stuff. This is a lot longer than I had planned to work on. Um, migrating my plotter, conversions I do not understand. But I just like having a band to like band it all together. Get it? No. Well. Um, where's my notes page? I really like how this looks. I think this might actually like work for me, like this system. And this works so that I can do this. I know it does cover my name though. That's unfortunate. There's also a pen loop, but I'm trying to figure out if my pen does fit in here, which I'll try. So I have in my office like currently a Lamy Studio. I think that's thin enough. And if it does, I think I want to put it kind of in the back here. And then I want to add some project managers, which I still, oh my God, I figured out what to do. So I've been having like different ideas for like my personal website and stuff and they all get like lost in the middle. So this is where I can go back for my personal stuff. Okay. So I can dedicate like this one, for example, to my art YouTube, whenever I have ideas. And then I can also dedicate this to my personal website. Um, which is also another thing that I've been having ideas for. Just gonna write down. Oh my god, I think because I only have like six, I'm really nervous about using it. But you know what? We're here to use 
up our stuff. So whenever I have an idea, I can just like write it down on a paper and then I can just put it in this respective folder. Which is like pretty cool because you can kind of just like open and then just review stuff from here and then close it again. Oh my gosh. I'm in love with the system already. So this is the pen loop, which I hope we'll have. And yeah. Ah! Exciting. Okay. I completely forgot to record this bit, so I'm adding it at the end. Um, weighing my plotter, this is 279, sorry, 280, 280 grams. Compared with my original Leuchtturm, which is at least, which is double of that, so it's 513. So I'm actually shedding off like two thirds of the, oh, sorry, two fifths of the weight, which I know might not seem like much, but when you're carrying it out, when you're carrying it around every day, I think this does matter. All right, um, let's see. Just to make sure I'm not, you know, accidentally resting the journal on my table. So yeah, that's, that's the result. All right, I think this video has gone on for long enough. I will definitely report back and see if I have, um, if I'm happy with my plotter or not. Um, I know that it's always a bit hard to like showcase planners because like everything is so personal, but I don't know, we'll see. Well, thank you guys again so much for tuning in, especially for this long. Um, please let me know again down below what has worked for you and what hasn't worked for you in terms of planning for 2023 and hope to catch you in the next time. Bye!